More detainees are being released from the federal immigration detention facility in Batavia because of the coronavirus crisis. But when they get out, what happens next? As our nonprofit partners at Investigative Post found, it is something a local judge called outrageous. Reporters Ellie Ingersoll and Phil Gambini have this report for us. ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, seems to have a routine when it releases detainees from its detention center in Batavia. Immigrants, as well as their lawyers and family members, often get little to no notice of their pending release. Detainees are driven to a nearby gas station, which doubles as a Greyhound bus station, and dumps unceremoniously. Often, it's too late to catch the bus for the day. Matt Thompson, a 20-year Army veteran, has seen it happen over and over again since he began at this gas station four months ago. They're treated like animals. They're, they're, I feel like they're treated like stray cats and dogs. Unlike those released from state prisons, immigrants detained in Batavia are not accused of criminal activity. Rather, they've been charged with violating civil immigration laws, such as overstaying their visa. Those being dropped off at the gas station either won their case or were granted bail with permission to stay in the country until their case is decided. Thompson says their treatment differs greatly from those who are released from nearby prisons like Attica. The way they're dropped off is 100% different. Like they're, they're uh, given handshakes, uh, pats on the back. Thompson isn't the only one concerned. Western District Judge Lawrence Villardo, who is hearing a lawsuit seeking the release of some 20 ICE detainees, decried the treatment when lawyers described it in court papers. I tried repeatedly to get ICE and the security firm that staffs the detention center to talk about its release practices. They refused to answer my questions. Those released are left to their own devices to find their way home to their temporary residence. ICE doesn't even give them money for transportation. They sometimes have to wait overnight to catch the next bus, which can be tough during inclement weather. Sympathetic groups often lend a hand, providing meals, rides, and sometimes a hotel room. That the releases, just like everything else, should really center people's humanity and that people should be treated as people. For Channel 2 News, I'm Ali Ingersoll with Investigative Post. Thank you, Allie. And if you want to read more of that story, you can find it right now at investigativepost.org.